Here are the directions for how to play the game, Name That Number. And this is a great game for you to play to practice your adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing once we get into multiplying and dividing. So, here are the things you need to do first. Get a deck of cards and take all the face cards out of the deck. Keep the aces and all the cards 2 through 10. The aces are used as the number 1. So, you have your deck of cards. Shuffle the cards that are left, the aces and the 2 through 10. Shuffle those and put them face down. You need to choose a spot to have your target number, probably a, a little bit away from the other five cards you're going to deal. So the first card you flip over is going to be the target number. So for this first hand, five is going to be our target number. And now I deal five cards outside or away from the target number. On here, they're going to be pretty close together just because I don't, I don't have as much room here. But five cards you're going to use to play. So here are some five cards we're going to use to play. Now choose someone to go first and they need to use, that person needs to use these five cards and either add or subtract the cards to try to get an answer of five. If you can get an answer of five, you get to keep all the cards you use and the target card five. And whoever has the most cards at the end is going to win. So looking at these cards, is there any way you can get to five? Let's see. I'm going to use the 10 card and the 4 card. And I'm going to just write on top of these cards so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go 10. I'll do it over here. 10 minus 4. I'm going to subtract those two cards. And that gives me 6. Next, I'm going to use the ace card because ace is worth 1. So 10 minus 4 got me to 6. And now I'm going to go 6 minus 1 equals 5. And that's the target number. So I get to keep the ace, 10, 4, and 5, and then it'll be the next person's turn. And it's really good for you as a third grader to write out these number sentences. Okay? So first you should write down everything you're doing and you can practice your facts that way. So you're going to take the 10. I get to keep the 10 card. 10 minus 4 equals 6. And 6 minus 1 equals 5. So make a pile for the first player and those are all the cards that belong to the first player. After you remove the cards that were used and the target number, you will deal more cards to fill in those spots. So from the deck you'll take out the next card would be the new target number, 8. And then deal out three more cards because there should always be five cards for the next person to use. The two that were left, the seven and three, those two cards stay there and just add three more to make a total of five. So make sure there's five cards for each person to play. Now the other person gets to go this time and they get to use a target number of eight. So what could you do to get the number eight? Well, let's see. I'm going to use the 9 and the 7 first. 9 minus 7 equals 2. And then I'm going to use the 4 card. So 9 minus 7 is 2. Now I have 2 plus 4 equals 6. And I can use this 2 card right here. 6 plus 2 equals 8. And that's the target number. So the more cards you can use, the better, because you get to keep all of them. And whoever has the most cards at the end wins. So please practice writing down each step separately. So the first step is the first two cards you use. 9 minus 7 equals 2. And then 2 plus 4 equals 6. And then 6 plus 2 equals 8. So if you practice writing those steps down, those improve, that will improve your math skills. So I would get to keep the 2, 9, 4, 7, and 8. I get to keep all those cards. And then you flip over a new target number 
and fill in four more cards for the other person to play. So you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide to get the target number. You get to keep all the cards you use, and the person with the most cards at the end is the winner. If there is a round where you cannot get to the target number, you can just discard, you can take that target number and put it back in the deck, and then flip a new target number and the other person gets to go. So if there's a spot where you just can't get the target number, just take that target number out, put it back in the deck, and get a new one. So, practice playing this game at home, it can be pretty fun and competitive.